So you feel like you're ready to take some clients and finally make some money by applying all the knowledge you gain throughout your learning. At the end of the day, after watching all those app development tutorials and creating all those dummy projects, you finally want to break free out of your cage and actually use your knowledge somewhere useful. Well, let me tell you that not so long ago, I was in your exact place and position. I had spent days and months learning app development and I felt like I was ready to take some clients. And today I have over 25 projects in 2020 alone. So what did I do and how did I get my first clients when I had no portfolio or experience to present to any clients? In this video, I will attempt to answer that so that you can go ahead and launch your app development career. But before we continue, please make sure you do leave a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can keep getting more videos like this and so that you also encourage me to keep on creating videos like this. Let's get started. Step number one, identify your three advantages over other developers. This could be a skill that you have, or a talent, or simply some connections that you acquire. What makes you different is basically the answer to this question. For me, I knew that I had great customer service, cheap price, and I was also possibly one of the very few people who knew how to use NFC technology in Swift and iOS. So I took those three parts and I identified them, and I started using them as my main selling point. My website email, for example, is not something generic like info at tapaway. Instead, it's my name. It's David Bullis at tapaway.com.au. I did this because I wanted people to con contact me as if I'm their friend and they want to speak to me about their ideas rather than a business that's trying to take their money away. So I tried to straight away introduce great customer service to them before they even contact me. I also started creating video tutorials on YouTube explaining Swift topics and also NFC tutorials. And finally, whenever I would get asked for a quote, I would provide cheap prices. And that way I have been using my three main advantages over other people. And so I was ready to start attracting attention from potential clients from across the whole world. Step number two, your platform. Let's say that you're the best developer in the world. Most likely you're not. How would people reach you? This is something that you really need to think about early on. You need a platform where people can do the following, contact you, ask you for questions and inquiries, pay you through a payment portal because no one's just going to transfer your money, and most importantly, view your portfolio. And by the way, this doesn't mean a portfolio filled with your client's work, because again, you might not have any clients. It can be a portfolio filled with work that you did for yourself, apps that you created for yourself or for your family, as long as it provides relevant and good examples to your clients so that they can see your work and apply it to their own version of an app. Step number three. Apply to all the freelancing websites. The internet is filled with so many freelancing websites. You have things like Fiverr, Upwork, and of course, Freelancer. These are all platforms that you can get your clients from. However, know that in your early days, you might really drop your prices, and you also might be participating in some easy gigs. Things like designing an app's icon or uploading an app to the App Store are most likely going to be your early projects. However, these are all great ways where you can get some clients and also get some reviews and projects to put on your portfolio. Step number four, word of mouth. So you did everything I just mentioned, but let me tell you that this step is the most important step of them all. I don't care who you are, if you're trying to get clients, then everyone around you should stop calling your name right now and start calling you the developer. What I mean is that everyone should know that you are an app developer. Your friends, family, teachers, Anyone around you should know that you create and develop applications, whether it's Android or iOS, they just need to know. You also need to step up your game and be confident. Approach your local barbershop or your local grocery store. Ask them if you would like to create a booking system for the barbershop or if you would like to create an app where customers can order groceries from your grocery store. Obviously, you're going to have to drop your price because you're the one offering, you're the one who is asking for their help pretty much. But these are great projects to put under your name. They will be your first clients. It will be your neighbors, it will be your friends, it will be your local business women and men. So start with them and go bigger. But definitely be confident, approach anyone, ask them to create an app. At the end of the day, there's problems around us. And in every business, there are problems and slow business processes. And it's our job to fix those problems and make it quick. So obviously step up, just start fixing those problems by creating apps for people. 
Step number five, make videos. My first three clients were directly from YouTube. In fact, they were all from one video and the link of that video is in the eye appearing somewhere right now, where I explained the NFC capabilities in Swift. Think about it, what better way to show people your skills than literally to just explain your skills and teach it to others. YouTube is a great way to display your content and skills and it will be viewed by everyone, including your potential clients. So start making videos now. It's for free, it's easy to do, and hopefully it will make it will make you make better videos than the videos that I make. Regardless, start making videos now and share them everywhere. So these were the five methods I used to start getting clients. And it really did work like a charm for me. And as I said, I've been getting a lot of clients. However, I would like to warn you that sometimes it gets really rough. You might get bad reviews and you might start feeling really done. But don't be discouraged, it's all part of the learning experience. Thanks so much for watching this video, it really means a lot when you leave a like or smash that subscribe button. Regardless, I would like to hear your feedback. And if it's bad, leave a comment below. If it's good, then definitely also leave a comment below. If you'd like to connect with me, make sure you check my website or simply email me using the email I will leave in the description below. Thank you one more time and have a great day.